Hey friends, it's Kai. Today's video is on how to remove unwanted objects in Photoshop. We will be covering the Spot Healing Brush tool. Spot Healing is like Content Aware, but a brush version. You paint over the areas you want to remove, and Photoshop tries to remove them by sampling surrounding areas. The newer your Photoshop, the better this function is. Super useful in any type of photography. For me, when I photograph landscape, a lot of times the places I photograph are really crowded and I feel like it takes away from the photo. Removing the tourists and everyone in the photos makes it a lot more calmer. Well, let's get started. The spot healing brush can be found here. The first one. A shortcut is J. Once you have the tool selected, go to the top. Make sure you have normal and content aware. What I use spot healing for are the smaller details. So people, holes, cars, anything that's kind of unwanted. And it also brings contrast and attention away from what you're trying to show in the image. To remove them is really simple. Think of it as painting. What you want to do is you want to cover the subject completely. If we are trying to remove this person, we'll just do this. If there's a shadow, make sure to get it as well. And you can see it's disappeared. Using the spot healing brush is the best on subjects that are isolated. It's really quick and really simple, and it also keeps the details. But what you need to watch out for is the areas that it's connected to. You can see that the lines on the sidewalk, when you paint over it, it's not perfect. Really, really easy. The reason why you need to get the shadows is that if the person's gone and there's shadows left, it's really unnatural. As well as when you spot heal, Photoshop samples the areas around it. If you don't remove the shadows, it might also bring in the shadows into the areas you removed. And if you don't remove the details with one spot heal, you can also paint over it again. You don't have to do it all in one try. Let me just show you a larger one. Let's say we're trying to remove this pole here. What I recommend is you have to isolate the pole. You can see that there's lines here. Just paint over it. And now the pole is pretty much by itself. Start from the top where it's kind of isolated. Work your way down. Now that it's somewhat isolated, you can start painting over the entire pole. A lot of times for spot healing, you're not sure if, if you can remove it completely. So a lot of times you just hope that it will remove it. If it doesn't, just keep painting over it. If you paint it, let's say five or 10 times and it's still there, chances are you might need to use another method. What I personally do is if I can't spot heal, I'll do other techniques. Because spot heal saves you a lot of time, I always try first. And it's really good for smaller objects, but if, let's say you're trying to remove something large, like this rail cart, Spot healing might not be the best option. And I will show you one more. What you will need to watch out for the most is, I think I said earlier, edges. Because this car is also attached to the road, you're going to see that when I remove this car, 
it's going to look a little weird. I'm not going to get the shadows here because it's not worth it. You can see that once I removed the car, this road didn't really get fixed completely. And even if I paint over it multiple times, I'm not going to get this line. What we will be using is the clone stamp tool. I will cover this topic in the next video. But when you combine clone stamp tool and spot healing, you can really clean up an image. That's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day, my friends.